Well, it's good to be with you today. This is Wednesday, July 11, and I'm very excited that you have joined me and you're able to come visit us through this video, and I'm able to come wherever you are, into your home or your office or your workplace, wherever you are. I love the technology. I appreciate Ken coming in and letting me come to visit you in the middle of your week. So, um, man, I, summer is just rolling by. I was thinking about it. I saw a sign at, at a school yesterday. It said, back to school August 27th or something like that. And I thought, man, we're, we're almost uh, getting ready for back to school time. And it seemed like school just got out. But uh, I like it. Time moves on. And I guess uh, the older I get, the faster it goes. And I'm okay with that. So uh, the summer is rolling along. It is a beautiful day right here in uh, beautiful downtown Mount Pleasant, North Carolina here at the mill. This is our new location and boy we're so functional here. I know there was a meeting in here last night, one of our ministry teams. This place is being used pretty much 24-7. Uh, right here as we finish this video the classics will come in and they'll go down to the uh, prayer and planning room and they will meet and then they're gonna come up here and watch a movie here in the conference room and uh, man, it's just an exciting time. It's an exciting place. Last week, we had a community cookout right here in the parking lot at the mill, and uh, we served our first responders, policemen, firefighters, and people from the community came, and, uh, but it just was a tremendous opportunity for us, and uh, a week from today, I think we have another hot dog lunch that we'll provide here for our community that will be done by our classics, and we're going to do that every month, but uh, love being here at the mill. It's a great place, um, and we're gonna we're gonna meet later on this afternoon uh, with a contractor about uh, a bid toward working toward our, our worship building here on this campus and moving toward moving over here for our Sunday morning worship time. And I know it's a little uh, confusing now. But where do y'all meet? Well, on Sunday mornings we meet at the elementary school, but all the other time we meet here at the mill. So. Still a little bit of a transition. Well, do you still meet at the barn? No, we're, we're here at the mill. This is our home, and uh, we have uh, plans to be here next. This is what God has for us next. It's a wonderful place. We're excited about it. And if you have not been to the mill, you come by and see me sometime. I'd love for you to see it here in Mount Pleasant. Um, boy, Sunday was a great day. We talked. We started a new series, The Three Essentials for Beating to, or to Avoiding the Summer Slump. Uh, I don't know, sometimes it seems that there's a little time in your summer, perhaps, maybe you've worked hard and school's out, and you go on vacation, and then you have to come back, and you're like, oh man, it's hot, uh, the beach was great, but I had to come home, I'm back to work, I'm back in the grind, don't be depressed, listen, I'm giving you three things, and this, this week is, is sermon number two in our series, this week we're talking about discipleship, what does it mean to be a disciple of Christ. What is a disciple of Christ? Matthew chapter 10 uh, will be so. If you want to read ahead uh, to get ready for Sunday's message, and then next week, our last way uh, essential to beating the summer slump, we're going to talk about repentance, a beautiful, wonderful biblical word, repentance. And these are all messages that Jesus preached. So I'm basically just sharing with you the messages of Jesus as he preached to us from the New Testament. Um, a lot of <laughs> wow, we're, we're a lot of preparation going on this month. We're getting ready for uh, August. We're getting ready for back to school. But a couple things coming up. <clears throat> we are involved with our community in in a thing called Rise Against Hunger, July 28th at the Mount Pleasant United Methodist Church. We're supporting that. We'll be working to uh, work together to pack meals, and uh, our church wants to be a part of that. All the ministries that are going on here. And then August 1 through 3 is the CCMP VBS. Man, our workers have been all over. They're already on it. Uh, we're a month away, uh, less than a month away, and they're out getting supplies, getting the materials ready, getting organized. I want you to get your kids in VBS, August 1, 2, 3. It's at night. It'll be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday night, we're going to have a cookout for the adults and for everybody. It's going to be a fantastic VBS. Sign up to volunteer. Everybody come to VBS. There's something for everybody for you to enjoy and to help and serve. Get your kids here. Bring others. Bring neighborhood. Bring people with you. August 4, we are doing our first back-to-school bash. We're going to have a ministry right here. We're supplying lots of things for back-to-school kids, for people in the community. <clears throat> it's going to be a carnival. It's going to be big. So those are some really exciting things. And the other thing I wanted to mention to you was August 5th. 
Sunday night, 6 o'clock, that is our next baptism. Uh, I already have a large list of people that are going to get baptized. Maybe you need to pray about following the Lord in believers' baptism. Perhaps you have never followed Christ in baptism. You've been saved, you know the Lord, and so uh, I just want to encourage you uh, to think about being baptized on August 5th. Um, all right, those are some things coming up, but let me give you a verse today. I, I have a verse uh, that is one of my favorite verses, and I use this verse a lot. This passage, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, uh, the last few verses, verses 51 through 58, I use this passage many times as I do funerals. As, as a pastor, as a shepherd in the community, I do a lot of weddings, and I do a lot of funerals because we just were able to interact with people and families, and I love it. I, I love Those are two great opportunities. And this is a verse that I use many times to comfort the families if they lose loved ones. And, and I think it's an encouragement from Paul about what we should do. Now, Sunday's message was about faithfulness, not just God's faithfulness to us, but our faithfulness to God. And so, uh, here's a verse that I want to kind of tie in with our message on Sunday about being faithful. Here it is. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Paul says this. He's talking to us, to the church uh, here at Corinth, and he says this. Well, let me start with verse 57. Thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, my question for you today, do you ever feel like things you do don't matter? Do you ever feel like you don't matter? Do you ever feel like... You know, I'm, I'm just unnecessary. Nobody notices. The, the things that I do aren't important. Well, Paul says they are. And, and he says that God has already given us victory, which is a wonderful thing. But I want to talk to you real quickly about faithfulness. Here's what Paul says. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be ye, and there's several things that Paul says we should be. Number one, be steadfast. Be unmovable. I want you to listen to these words. These are words that describe, and we talked about faithfulness, and one of the words I like to use as a synonym for biblical faithfulness is loyalty. Are you loyal? Are you loyal to your family? Are you loyal to your school? Are you loyal to your boss? Are you loyal to the Lord Jesus? Are you loyal? Are you faithful? Well, Paul says this, when you experience loss, when you are frustrated, when you are lonely, when you're depressed, when you feel like what you do does not matter, when you feel discouraged, understand that I want you to be steadfast, unmovable, unchangeable, staunch, always abounding in what? The work of the Lord. Now, we live in a society that is not very big on commitment. I'm going to tell you. Paul says right here, once you follow Christ, once you become committed as a follower of Jesus Christ, this is how the rest of your life should go. Don't be blown around and, and influenced easily and change your mind and change your direction. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And here's why. For as much as you know that your labor, your work, is not in vain in the Lord. Whatever you do for the Lord will last. Whatever you do for the Lord is important. Whatever you do for the Lord will have an impact, even though you don't feel like it's important, even though you feel like it doesn't matter. It does. Can I encourage you to, whatever it is you do, you do it with all your heart, and you do it for the Lord. You, you may not be a great singer or preacher or whatever it is that you're watching other people do. It's okay. You take what you do today, and you give it to God as an offering, and you do it with all your heart and it will have a great impact. So, remember from this verse today, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Be faithful, be loyal. I'm so glad you joined us today. If you don't have a place to go this Sunday, join us at the elementary school in Mount Pleasant, 1030. I'm praying for you, and I hope to see you real soon.